for that. Okay, here we go. Yo against Viper. And once again, Viper playing as the green. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> We're going to put him as yellow. I'm sorry. I don't like it. He belongs as the yellow. Like a banana. He's our little banana, okay? Feels like Goss could ultra punish the Kumi Boomy. Please never call it Kumi Boomy again, Monkey Lumps. Please, just do me a favor, bro. <laughs> never call it. Okay, we're, list of things we're not calling again, okay? We're not calling hand cannons handies, okay? We're not doing that. And we're not calling it the Kumi Boomy, okay? We're just not. All right? Thank you. Wasn't Yellow Say My Name? Yeah, Say My Name's old name was Yellow. Yeah. What about the Huskies? Huskies are fine. Huskies are a cute dog. That's fine. All right, so Viper playing as the Goss here. And the question is, how can he punish the Cumans? Now, the Cumans, the strategy used to be to go up super early, get that TC down really quickly, and then go into military. But with the cheaper stables, you can actually go up super early, get the stable down, get some scouts on the field, Pressure your opponent, hold back their military a little bit, and then go for the um, the second town center. And still be up at a reasonable time. So, Cumans 1v1 Arabia, if you get that build perfected, can be really, really nice. I know one player that does it amazing is uh, Miguel actually does a really great Cumans boom. Or it scouts into second TC. Yo, Mr. Perfect, thank you for the two months, dude. Appreciate it. Hello, first time chatters. Hello, Blackstone. First time chatter. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for sharing your first time chat in the, my chat with me. <clears throat> it's very special. Coochie Moochie is just a dude who's desperate to get some. What are you talking about? The, the, like, the degeneracy here. Is incredible. All right, Yo is pushing in the deer. Kind of necessary here with this cumin build. You got to get as much food as possible. You got to go up early. Got to have a ton of villagers on the hunt to get up at a reasonable time. You want to go up like 18 pop. So like 17 vills, one scout. Nonsense. Thank you for the six months, dude. Thank you so much, man. Level one hype train. Love to see it. Thank you for casting these. I love me some casual but high level 1v1 Arabia games. Well, when's the last time we saw Viper and Yo queuing up on the ladder that I was able to cast? It's been months, man. It's been like months. Months and months. Many months. What is this sub alert? They're from a show called Letter Kenny. It's a Canadian comedy show. So basically, the guy who's chirping, the guy who's insulting the people in the clip is their hockey teammate. <laughs> he keeps making jokes about everyone's mom and I enjoy them. That's why I have them as my sub alert. Seems like everyone is back on the ladder. Hey, I mean, a, a $200,000 tournament announcement will do that, right? Also, RMS Cup 2 coming up is big, right? The T90 League coming. Did you, did you guys see the signups for the T90 League? Did you see that? That's that's a sick list, man. We got Hera, Leary, Viper, Yo, uh, Valesa, MBL. Like we got like everyone on there. What tournament announcement did I miss? Go check out uh, T90's Twitter. He's got a sign up thing. And oh, if you're talking about the two hundred thousand dollar tournament, Red Bull Wallalo, six, literally in a castle in Heidelberg in October, late October this year. I believe it's late October. I can't remember. Sometime in the fall. It's going to be just like Red Bull 5, except even bigger. Plus, we have uh, AoE 1 is going to be there, and AoE 4 is going to be there, too. All right. Barracks coming up from Viperino, and he's going to go for the Men at Arms Rush. And we see the barracks now from Yo, and Yo is going to go for that stable. And remember, I said 18 pop. I guess he's going 19 population here. 
And we'll go with stable. It's cheaper with cumins to place the stable and the archery range in Feudal Age. So he can afford it. And then he's going to work his way towards that second TC. Do you have something to say in the seeding discussion for T90's League? I don't even know what the seeding is, man. I'll let everyone else... I'll let everyone else figure that out, and then I'll just cast the damn thing. <laughs> like, I don't... Dude, I couldn't care less about seeding. <laughs> I don't care. I, I, I get that the players hate, you know, seeding sometimes, and they have... It determines how they're going to do in the tournament a lot, a lot of the time, but... From my perspective, if you want to win the whole thing, you're going to have to beat everyone anyway. So as a caster, I don't care. As long as they get entertaining matchups. Double bit axe on the way from Yo. How much weed do you think they'd let me smoke in Heidelberg? As long as you're keeping it discreet, I'm sure they would let you smoke all the weed. As long as you keep it discreet, right? As long as you're not blowing it in people's faces, I don't think anyone really cares anymore. All right, men at arms from Viper coming in now, and he's just attacking houses right now. Is forcing some wood out in repairs, but the scouts are now looping around on this side from Yo. There is a spearman already there from Viper, and Viper is following up with some archers. Needs to be careful, though. When he sends the archers across... To Yo's base, he's going to need spearmen accompanying them. He's going to have a buddy, buddy system. So two archers, two spearmen is a good rule. Uh, if your opponent has scouts on the field. And Yo is actually adding another scout too. Yo goes for the archer range. Almost has enough wood for that second TC. Got horse collar too. Needs that because he's going to need some farms here for food income. Also needs the berries still, because if he wants to afford villagers out of that second TC, he's going to need uh, all the food sources he can get. Ooh, Viper is housed, and Viper is kicked off this house, and Viper is going to lose a villager here. Fantastic play from Mr. Yo. Viper gets back on the ladder, immediately getting, uh, getting Yo'd again. It's a bad feeling, a very familiar feeling for him, I think. He's housed. 35 pop. Blacksmith now for Yo. Still no second TC. Just trying to survive on this side, I suppose. He's got that skirmisher, and I guess... You know what? I guess going for the archer range blacksmith to be able to prevent these um, units from getting inside might be good. The scout from Viper loops around, though, and that's a great scout from Viper. Another house will go behind this from Yo. Trying to keep himself safe here. He's got the skirmishers now. Dealing with the archers behind. Can't quite engage with the scouts just yet because the men-at-arms are still there along with the spearmen. But look at how many scouts he has. And he's waiting for the archers from Viper to come out. Yo will lose one scout there. That's a bit sloppy, but at least he gets away with four. And now Yo will... I keep saying he's going to go for that second TC, but <laughs> I mean, I guess he just wants his farming to go down first, right? He'll add it eventually. Trust. Trust. He'll add it eventually. <laughs> trust me, guys. It's going to go down on the gold. Trust me. Trust. <clears throat> Quick pink flash for anyone else. Oh jeez, what are you, what's happening, Monkey Lumps? Are you having a seizure? Is that a euphemism for something? <laughs> Alright, it's a big army for Viper, and it's quite cute the way that it's pathing in here. Spearmen, archers, single scouts, and men at arms. It's an interesting micro in this fight, right? Yo needs to avoid the spearmen. He's gonna try and micro them down with his skirmishers. Once the spearmen are gone, then he has to focus on the men-at-arms. And then he can finally engage on the archers. Only one spearman left over there for Viper. Viper's going to try and get some vills. Yo will pull those away. 
And now Yo has an opportunity to come in here against the uh, archers. And honestly, one villager down from Yo, two villagers down from Yo, three villagers down from Yo. I was going to say it's a great fight for Yo, but this is a fantastic engagement. At the end of the day for Viper, he gets four villagers in that fight. It was such a difficult one to manage. And Yo can make up for that four villager difference with the second TC, which is going down on that wood line now. Viper, though. Decent eco behind this. Is he adding in the market? I would not be surprised to see a market get added in now. You see on the gold? Haha. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Okay. You're much smarter than me. You're more handsome. You're more successful. I understand. <laughs> I understand, dude. It's not on the gold. <laughs> Re. <laughs> No horse collar farms for Viper. Oh, Ugh. that is 17 non horse collar farms. Why does going down can both mean build and destroy? Because I'm terrible at my native language. That's why. He's placing down the foundation and then the building is going down because the foundation is going down on the map. And then when the building gets destroyed, the actual building is going down. You're down for that? Good. Ooh, he's going to drive these scouts into the spearmen. Meanwhile, on this side, just a couple ar or one archer, two sp skirmishers and a spearman here. Yo can still escape from the top side here and Yo is going to start pulling ahead in villager count. He'll harass a bit back here. Viper is about to go up. Not on stone, so he's not YOLOing with the Goss here. How many farms should we have before Horse Scholar? Depends who you ask. Depends who you ask. I think Yo should play full feudal to prevent the fast castle until he's ahead somewhat. I think Yo only losing four villagers, killing a villager of Vipers, and killing the whole army from Viper will be very comfortable here not over-investing in feudal age. He's going to get his farm count down. Look at the farm count now for, for Yo. He's got 23 farms with horse color. Eco is looking fantastic. He's going to get wheelbarrow probably, and then after wheelbarrow is done, he'll probably be able to click up to... Uh, to feudal age, provided he gets some on gold pretty soon. I think he doesn't need to go full feudal, honestly. Because it's it's going to be Viper who's the one feeling like he's under pressure. He knows that second TC is likely there for Yo. And that's just like constantly in the back of your mind. Like, oh god, the villager lead is going to be Yo's. He's going to have the villager lead. Oh god, oh god, oh god. <sighs> 17 firms. Viper now has horse collar. He's got wheelbarrow. Yo still doesn't have wheelbarrow. I would expect that from him soon-ish. Maybe he just wants to click up right away. He's on stone. And Viper gets to Castle Age. When Viper gets to Castle Age, he is a bunch of villagers behind. He's 14 villagers behind right now. Goes for two extra TCs, so he's going to try and catch up. Yo goes out to the stone over here. And I don't think Yo's plan... Now, I could be wrong on this. I don't believe that Yo's plan at the end of the day is to go into Kipchaks. Because they suck. But maybe he has different ideas. Maybe he thinks they're good. Who knows? Which Civ do you prefer in the late game? It has to be Goss, right? <clears throat> has to be Goss. Kipchaks eat Hoss girls? Grath, how many games have you played again?
They do actually. They do not. They do not. I don't care what you say. They do not. Maybe if there's 10 husk girls and you have 40 kipjacks, maybe the extra arrows will come into play. They do not eat them. Even Chukanu don't eat husk girls, and Chukanu are infinitely better at everything that kipjacks do than kipjacks are. You wrong, boy? Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Pikeman coming in from Viper. <clears throat> and Yo is now in Castle Age with Heavy Plow. Getting Bowsaw. Going for Knights here. And the Knights are going to be able to clear up these Skirmishers and the remnants of that Men at Arms rush. Fourth TC here for Viper and the Villager count actually in Viper's favor. So he's managed to pull away ahead here with the TCs. But Yo had the Villagers earlier. So Yo still has a little bit of a better economy to this point than Viper does. Yeah, Viper did catch up with Vils. Yep. That's why you go FC and add those extra TCs. Now Yo is adding two extra TCs. So both players are playing into the late game here. A Steppy, where's Spud? Is Spud here? Is Spud here? Step Lancers now coming out for Yo. Love to see it. It's a cool unit. I still have nightmares about this unit as he finds the, the monk over here from Viper. And the Step Lancer doesn't have enough attack to really take out that monk. And now Viper is going to be playing Ring Around the Rosie around that relic and manages to get one, but one is all that he gets at that point. Knights coming in this way. Viper converting in defense. And the pikemen are going to be able to take out that knight. So good defense here from Viper. He'll go for a castle soon. Viper will probably put that here maybe on this hill. He loves putting castles on hills. And that looks like a good spot. Yo will also go for a castle. And I wonder where that goes. Does Yo just really like Knight player, or do you think he thinks Archer meta, meta is overrated? Do you really want to go into Archers here with humans? I don't think so, right? You can't really, like, transition to them in Imperial Age, because they don't get Bracer. Kipchaks suck against Huskarls, guys. Like, I think you're thinking you had a group of 30 hu Kipchaks... And you were running away from 10 husk girls. And you're thinking, oh my god, look at this hit and run. Look at how good I can do. Yeah, until you hit the wall that is your base. And they keep pushing and you have nowhere left to run. And then you die. Because you literally can't kill them fast enough. Good raids here. Good raids here. Oh, the Step Lancers. Dave trying his best not to roast chat? No, I'm just I'm just confused where this idea came from. I don't understand. I'm very, very confused. I'm I'm confused why more than one person has that opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Okay, there's a castle now forward from Yo. A forward castle. Okay, so he wants to press the issue. He doesn't want to get late game against Viper. He's got a big eco back here, but if he wanted to get late game, if he felt his Civ would good, do well late game, he would set up the castles near his base. He's going to set it up forward, though, and Viper's going to go for a castle on that hill. Does Viper see this castle from Mr. Yo? He does not. So that is just a purely organic castle there from Viper. How many thousands of games have you cast again? How many CBA games have I played, bro? You're asking me about y unique units against unique units? Alright, let's see if Yo goes into Kipchaks. <clears throat> I 
All right, Viper. Are you going to click up anytime soon? Viper has 106 villagers. Yo is sitting at 96, and Yo is up to Imperial Age first. Now, Yo goes for a second castle here, not on a hill. Viper will have the hill advantage here, but Yo will have the uptime advantage. And Yo is going to be going for Kipjacks. Okay, here we go. Viper only investing into, into Pikeman here. No Husk Girls yet, but he's getting Anarchy now. Okay. Getting Anarchy now. There's the University for Yo. Yo will have two castles to participate in the Treb War. Viper will have many barracks. And this is a frightening eco. <laughs> this is frightening. <laughs> My man is Goths. He's got 61 farms. I guess this gold is forward, I suppose. He's got another gold to take back here. Does he not see that? I'm surprised he hasn't taken it yet. Also has a neutral gold over here. And he's starting with the Huskarl production. Kipchak's coming out on this side. Please send a Huskarl here. Please send a Huskarl here. Bro, they can't even kill a villager. Okay, yo with the counter to Huskarls over here. Shredded. Absolutely shredded here. Absolutely shredded. Just destroyed, bro. Eaten up. Viper needs a different solution. Viper needs a different solution here. Yona. <laughs> Yona going into longsword. Yona going into longsword. 17 HP, he'll never get back. True. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. He's still got four. Oh, he's got a lot more now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, he took out one. Okay. Monk going down. All right. Rams now from Viper. Long sword, now two-handed swordsman on the way. From Yo. Yo comes in here with the Kipchaks. The, the raids from the Kipchaks might be nice on this side. He does have ballistics, so he can start killing all those vills. University is gonna be pushed down though, and Huskarls will be chasing after this forward villager and probably end up going after these Kipchaks now. Viper sends one. <laughs> imagine he just imagine he just sent one Oscar. <laughs> Alright, Oscarl's killing these bills over here. <clears throat> what a great boom up from Viper here. This eco is insane. Look at that. 130 villagers. My man is pop capped. He's got 36 Husk Girls right now. He's going for Bodkin Arrow now for the uh, castles and for the TCs. Kipchaks are dying on this side. Husk Girls are coming in and infantry push is happening in the middle here. We got six Rams. Not even upgrade to Cap Ram, but he doesn't need him yet. Kipchaks from Mr. Yo still trying to do damage here. Yo trying to mass up two-handed swordsmen. 14 two-handed swordsmen. 11 in the queue and that's simply not going to be enough because Viper will be going up to the Imperial Age. This is a Castle Age all in. Viper's just attacking the castle with the infantry? Okay, now he switches his focus over to these two-handed swordsmen. 61 farms for Viper. 42 farms for Mr. Yo, so it's not bad for Yo, and Yo has the advantage in terms of upgrades. But Viper has the advantage in terms of production. Look, another army on the way. And Yo's secondary gold is at the front here. So Yo needs access to that for sure. Why is Yo, why is Viper so obsessed with taking out the castles? He's clearly scared of the Kipchaks, dude. 
He's clearly frightened. He's terrified. Honestly, they're living rent-free inside of his head. <laughs> conscription on the way from Yo- That's why he was trying to take it out, dude. That's the- He wanted to prevent the conscription, even though there's another castle over here. Never mind. Yo, making more Kipchaks? He is. He is. Nice. Good. More barracks over on this side for Viper. His eco is flying right now. Look at that food and gold count, dude. And he's just about to hit Imperial Age too. 67 farms right now. 42 long swordsmen. Getting masonry now. Ballistics is even in for something. I don't know what. The TCs, the castle, I, I don't know. But ballistics is in. And champion now incoming for Yo. Okay, there's uh, Parthian Tactics for the Kipchaks. Love to see it. And here's Perfusion. Oh, God. Perfusion, Two-Handed Swordsman, Blast Furnace on the way. <laughs> and Yo's like, I'll just wait for my champion upgrade, Copium. <laughs> it's fine. I'll wait for my champion upgrade. That'll work. And he takes the fight here. And now we've got 21 champions against 52 ended swordsmen. And Viper's like, hey, wait, you waited for your champion upgrade. I'll wait for my champion upgrade. Oh, no, you want to fight? Okay, I'll think about it. 16 Kipchaks now for Mr. Yo. Absolutely shredding these Husk girls, though. Absolutely destroying them. All right, Elite Husk Girl on the way now for Viper. 60 champions on the field, too. Still kind of trying to react to these champions over here. Yo did a good job keeping those alive. Big production. Big, big production for Viper. And Viper is now building up another force here. He doesn't really have any siege to take out the buildings, but I guess his infantry are kind of like the siege at the moment. He's kind of lost back here, too. With this army, he's looking for a place to attack. Left side, can you show? Oh, it's just it's just barracks. Just barracks right now. They need to run away. Big army coming through the middle here. Champions over on this side from Yo are gonna get cleared up. And the Kipchaks here. Shredding, yeah. Shredded wheat over there. Okay, chemistry coming in for Viper. <clears throat> they are doing more damage than they did before. I will give them that. It's nice to have the champions in front. It's nice to have the champions in front helping against the Husk Girls, but he needs to worry about this army coming back in and this army that cleared up the champions previously. Wait till they get elite. They are elite right now, my friend. They are elite right now. Viper needs to, like, gather his military. He's raiding on this. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So he's kind of just dribbling in units in the middle to keep Yo busy. And he's raiding on this side. He's taking out the eco from Mr. Yo. Taking out the TCs over here. Raiding the wood line. More units coming in from these barracks. Viper has a big army up here. And he doesn't really care that Yo is attacking his barracks in the middle. He's going to pressure both sides of Yo's economy. Even come over here and attack this castle. Now Yo going for... Okay, he decided against it. He goes for the house first. He's going to send military over here first to deal with that. I like this approach though from Viper. To come over here with the Trebs. He's really distracting Yo. He's gone for a typical Viper castle up here on the neutral gold on the hill. Another Viper castle over here. He sees the hill. He has to castle it. Even if there's no res within range, he's got to castle it. Viper instincts, you know. And now he's taking out more villagers here. Fantastic gameplay from Viper in the late game. 
might not look pretty because he lost so many units here. But, I mean, it's just pressuring from all sides. Where is the efficiency for Yo? He's at 41% right now. 95 villagers. And he's going to lose the castle on this side. Losing villagers over here. Still responding to this over here. And now losing villas in the middle, too. Eco KD is nice. Yeah, 89 against 17. Where'd the Trebs go? Ooh, Trebs went down. Good snipe there from Yo. Does Viper have Elite Husk Girl? He does. He does have Elite Husk Girl. <laughs> okay, he didn't need Siege. I thought maybe he needed Siege. He tried the Treb thing. It didn't work out. Okay, now that we have 23 Elite Kipjacks... I think they can two-shot a Huskarl. Slightly better than I thought. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Game's over, I guess. We speed up there for the end, and Yo calls the GG. Fantastic game from Viper. Really, really good stuff. I think Yo had a good opening there with the scouts. There was just this one fight over here. Yo was using the villagers, and he lost four. He got pretty far behind. And then in Castle Age, he didn't really do anything, did he? Human late game is meh. I would agree. It's okay. It's not bad. I mean, they get Paladin Siege Onager, right? It's not bad. They get Champion. With all the upgrades. It's not terrible. It's just they're missing Bracer, which hurts them a lot. And some some people say Goth Flood isn't scary at the highest level. I think humans are a good Civ matchup for Goths, honestly. Because humans don't really have the tools to like kill you super early in the game, and the Goths want to get late in the game. The humans want to boom and the Goths want to boom. And I think if you do it correctly as the Goths, uh, you can boom at an equal rate to them. You just get up to Castle Age faster, get your TCs down faster. Need a bigger mass of Kipchaks? Okay. 